I've recently started uh, to use this new Flysight Black Pearl Diversity FPV receiver. Uh, fantastic little bit of kit, and once I've played with it a little bit more, I'll do a review video. But essentially, it's a 7 inch high definition screen with an integral battery at the back, um, mountable from the bottom using a standard quarter inch mount for tripods or whatever else and a diversity receiver on top that allows you to run two antennas this particular time I've actually got a little um, circular polarized antenna and a dipole but it's actually going to be run with a circular polarized and a five turn helical for distance on the other antenna but that aside one of the things that the fly sight is also uh, is a full 32 channel receiver and one of the things I've done today is spent a little bit of time mapping the frequencies that this device can hear and display as FPV and um, out of my own interest I've spent a bit of time mapping those same frequencies to Fat Shark, Boscam, uh, Fly Sight, some Hobby King bits and pieces and others because one of the things I've read about a lot is the fact that you know there's all these different frequencies for 5.8 and you can get um, a Boscam uh, transmitter that might work with your Fat Shark goggles you can get other Boscam ones that have different frequencies the um, Boscam stuff doesn't work with Fat Shark all the time the Team Black Sheep stuff uses different frequencies and it can be very confusing so I thought what I'd do is, as I've just spent the time putting this um, spreadsheet together, I'd kind of share it with uh, with you so that saves you looking and doing this from scratch if you're interested in this yourself. So what I'm going to do is base it on the frequency range that's in your manual for the uh, Black Pearl diversity receiver that we're looking at here. So uh, let's just jump into the slide deck. First slide. Um, so here's the 32 channels on the right hand side split up into four bands, bands A, B, C and D and each of those bands has eight channels available in them and a range of frequencies. So for example at the top one it's 5865, that means it's 5.865 gigahertz. The next one in the A range is 5.845 gigahertz. And um, what I've done here on the right is I've just put an, a list, a big column with an X in it to show that uh, the black pearl can receive and display each of those FPV channels. Now what I'll do over the next um, handful of slides is I'll actually add in the common FPV transmitters and receivers that you'll see and you'll see how they match up to these channels. So let's jump into a slightly cleaner format so that we have room to do that. So here we are, we've got our 32 channels that a diversity 32 channel receiver will hear and there's Black Pearl here in the mall. The next one we'll look at is our friend Frat Shark. Fat Shark and Immersion RC um, predominantly use the same channels and they map onto the main ones in band D. So that's great because I'm a Fat Shark Immersion RC user myself. So I now know that I need to um, put the um, Black Pearl into uh, the D band and uh, select one of the channels. It's probably going to be channel one because I don't tend to play with them too much. Let's look at the next one, uh, Boscam. And you can see that Boscam actually use the different band, band C here. So they're using uh, 5705 all the way down to 5945. And those two don't overlap. And that is why a Boscam transmitter can't be seen by a Fat Shark or Immersion RC receiver and vice versa. They don't have any common frequencies that you can use. All makes sense so far. But then I found that Boscam, there's also a version, um, the TBS Rookie, that actually uses a completely different set of, uh, of frequencies um, up in the band A. Still a Boscam transmitter, but this does mean that we have to be really careful when we're buying this stuff. And that just because something is from the same manufacturer, there may be different versions or editions of transmitters and receivers. And we need to be reading the fine print to make sure that the frequencies that we think we're getting on the product are the ones that we're looking at. Next one is Flysight. I was interested in that because Flysight is obviously the manufacturer of the Black Pearl that I've got here. And uh, they have a couple. One is this uh, TX5804 that, funnily enough, is 
promoted as an Immersion RC Fat Shark compatible transmitter. And you can see exactly why, because they're using band D and they're using the majority of those same channels. Interestingly, FlySight also do another one, um, an RC305 is the one we were talking about here. And that is an exact match for the Boscam channels in band C. So in theory, we should be able to get that Boscam equipment talking to that FlySight equipment because they've got the same frequencies. And then finally, there was another one on Hobby King that I had a look at, and that Hobby King one again was using that band C. So here we are, we have three different bits and pieces on the band C, one from Boscam, one from FlySight, and one from Hobby King that should all work together. And at the bottom, we have a couple of bits and pieces that would work together potentially, the FlySight um, Fat Shark compatible system, TX5804, and the Fat Shark and Immersion RC as well. But it was interesting that even Boscam and FlySight are using different frequencies from different bits and pieces. Now, one of the things you might have noticed is that the frequency range doesn't go up sequentially. So, for example, uh, band A channel 1 isn't the lowest frequency available and band D channel 8 at the bottom isn't the highest frequency. There's actually a spread in each of them. And if you actually order this table now um, by frequency, so the lowest at the top and the um, highest frequency is at the bottom, it looks like this. It's a kind of a bit of an interesting um, pattern really. You have band C, seems to be a bit of a weird and wacky one in that it has the frequencies at the very low end and at the very high end. And throughout the middle of the range of the 5.8 gig band, you have alternating A, B and D frequencies all the way through. Now, 5.8 is actually in band D. It's right in the middle here, band D, channel 4, 5800. That is a 5.8 gig exactly. Um, be aware that the further away that you get from 5.8 gig, the less efficient the aerials you are using will be because an aerial is tuned for specific frequency and the further away you get from that frequency, the less efficient that aerial is. So it's actually physically manufactured for one. So that's why I'm guessing that the A, Bs and Ds are all there in the middle because it gives you a lot of choice about which of those sets of frequencies you want to use and you can put them side by side with the exception of band C, which seems to be the bread in this pastrami sandwich. One thing you have to be really careful of is that before I did this work, I assumed incorrectly that because I would be using a fact shark system at the field and a colleague of mine might be using a boss cam, something like the TBS rookie system, um, that we wouldn't have a problem overlapping. But if you look here, if I was using the fat shark system and I was using um, band D channel three, that's 5.78 gigahertz. If my friend was using the TBS Rookie and he'd accidentally managed to get band A channel 5, he'd be using 5.785 gigahertz for his FPV. That is too close. They would start to interfere with each other. So just because there are different manufacturers and different bands, just be careful of that when you're flying FPV with friends and colleagues. Make sure that there's enough separation between the two frequencies that you're using so that you don't interfere with each other's view. So hopefully that's interesting for those of you who are looking at FPV. Um, I'll post the more detailed review of the uh, FlySight Black Pearl 7-inch diversity receiver when I've played with it more. Uh, but if you have any comments and questions, please post them. Uh, some of the data in this might be um, slightly incorrect because I've gone off the data sheets and websites that this stuff is listed on. But I thought it would be uh, an interesting way to share an hour's worth of work and research with you, my subscribers. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Please comment, subscribe. And if you need to talk to me, my Help Out channel is available.